I'm sorry, but Gilbert won't be able to play with you boys till later this afternoon. He's doing some work for me. Springs. I hope I never see another spring as long as I live. So, you never want to see another spring, eh? Okay, mister, I'll fix it so you get that wish. Who... Who are you? The name's Coily. Coily the Spring Spike, they call me. I heard your wish and, well, you're gonna get it. No more springs for you from now on. Gee, Coily, I didn't realize what I was wishing. I'm sorry for everything I said. Can't we call the whole thing off? Isn't there anything I can do? Please let me take back my wish. Well, okay. I'll do it just this once. But next time, be careful. Don't ever make that wish again. You see, fellows, the scientific principle of a spring is to absorb energy and then to release it. That's all there is to it. Too bad, Joe. Yeah. Nice shot. Yes, it was. But, if it wasn't for the amount of spring in the club shaft, combined with the spring of the rubber inside the ball, that drive wouldn't have gone anywhere at all. You see, all spring action depends on elasticity, the ability of material to return to its original form after it's been forced out of shape. You know, like the action of a springboard. And when you stop to think about it, even the ground, the earth is like a huge spring. 
It has the ability to absorb a blow and then transmit the shock from one point to another. And that's exactly what a spring is supposed to do. Transmit shock from one point to another. Okay, but let's get on with the game. You don't realize the number of springs that work for us every day. Why, there's a little spring in your cigarette lighter, and the spring in your pencil clip, and the huge springs that cushion the railroad trains. Why, I could name thousands of everyday uses for springs. Don't bother. I never realized until lately that springs have such a universal use. Why, there's springs in mouse traps, guns, exercisers, hinges, pogo sticks, why, it's practically impossible to name a single thing in which some sort of spring isn't essential, in one way or another. Take that plane up there, for instance. It's got a set of shock absorbers on the wheels that depend on heavy springs controlled by a hydraulic arrangement. When the ship lands, the springs ease the shock so much you can't even tell when you're on the ground. And as far as an automobile is concerned, why, I wouldn't even attempt to tell you how many various kinds of springs are used, in addition to the springs and shock absorbers. Good. You know, the trouble with people like you guys is that just because most springs are usually hidden, you seldom think of the important part they play in the regular operation and enjoyment of our cars. For instance, just take those springs I mentioned a while ago. The springs that are built under the car to provide complete riding comfort. Spiral coil springs and the knee action in front balance the weight of the car with soft leaf springs in the rear so that the body always rides along on an even keel. Can you imagine what it would be like riding along a rough road like this without those special springs? And then too, the springs and the seat and back cushions take up any other little bumps that get through to the body of the car. Yes, sir, as far as riding comfort is concerned, the tires, the cushion springs, and the special springs under the car all combine to give us a ride that can't be topped. Hey, Joe, wake up. Wake up, fellows. Well, that didn't take long. You played a great game, boy, but you lost. What you need is a little more spring in the old... Uh... Mm, very funny. You and your springs, I hope I never see another... Stop! Don't say it. Don't ever wish anything like that as long as you live.